Some residents under the umbrella of the Association of Landlords and Shop Owners in Ocean State are asking the government for compensation of a two billion naira over the demolition of their properties to give way for the infrastructure facelift in the state. The state government has promised to pay for the damages when funds are available, as well as complete all ongoing road projects before the expiration of the current administration in November 2018. For anyone who transits on land between Lagos and Abuja using the Lagos Ibado Expressway, Bogon, a town in Oshun State, is a must take route. Sometimes some commuters stop over to buy food from vendors who ply their trade along the road. The road is wearing a new look now with its trumpet bridge, a project the state government says cost them 29.2 billion naira. It's 9.2 billion. That's the contract sum. This uh, 30 kilometer road being done by Ratcon has a trumpet bridge at Bogon, which used to be a dead zone before. So it's so designed that there will be no way, even if you want to die, that bridge will caution you not to die. Because it's been designed in a way that there's no way you could just enter into the express that link uh, Ibadan to Evil mm -hmm. without passing through the, over the bridge. So there will be no way for you to die. That's what is done there. It adds to the beauty of the, you, could, you know you are entering the state. Across Bogor and other places where the projects were executed, it is all praise singing for the governor, Romu Ferry Bishola. You see that, uh, you could see many people, they are now coming to establish their kiosks, their shops and everything by the side of the road. Formerly, they used to, to stay in the nook. So we are the people, the potential buyer cannot even locate them. But with the construction of the bridge, the people are now, it seems like the community has come to the limelight. You see, it has added to the beauty of the town. You see, uh, before, before, this place was full of uh, bush, bush all here and there. But with the construction of the bridge, you could see that uh, everything is very, very clean and clear. That intervention, the Federal Road Safety Corps says, has improved safety on that axis. It has, it has been very hectic before the road construction anyway. Uh, especially this head-on collusion, we recorded so much casualty on incoming vehicles facing each other. That is the major uh, obstacle we have been facing before the completion of the uh, road. But uh, it, it, has, it has even gone to the extent that we have to dig ditches to prevent overlapping from the other end to this uh, side of the road. But even with that, before you come back over the, overnight, they have removed the, the barriers. So, but immediately after the construction and the commission, it has eased our work so perfectly. There's no need uh, driving against traffic. That has, that has been our major constraint, I mean, challenges. With the, you know, the drivers are always in haste. They want to get to Shobo to their destination on, on time. So they don't mind uh, committing traffic regulations. But immediately after the construction and the commission, it has, it has eased our job. We have recorded less uh, crashes. It is, however, not the same mood all over the state. Under this tent are men and women who are members of the Association of Landlords of Igbona, Baba Onishekere, Fakunle, Olaya, Ayeturu, Okefia, Old Garage, MDS and Ajigunle. They are lamenting the demolition of their building in the course of the construction of roads and bridges.
Their grouse is that government has reneged on its several promises to compensate them for their losses. <laughs> to these landlords, this meeting becomes necessary to call attention to their plight, saying previous efforts, including visits to the government house and the state's house of assembly, have not yielded any fruit. Their demand is the compensation of 2 billion naira. We are begging them to give us compensation. He promised us first time that he's going to give us our compensation. Second time, he promised us. Third time, he promised us. Now, our people, they are annoyed now because many of, many of us have died. The state government promises payment of all the sum as soon as funds are made available. I must say that the recession the country went into that affected all the 36 states and all government agencies and parastatas made it practically impossible to have sufficient fund to run government, not to talk of paying compensation. Therefore, it wasn't a de deliberate attempt that the compensation has not been paid and I'm sure that any time government has money sufficient to take care of things, including the payment of the compensation, it will be so done. The property owners speak with the Raoul Faribay Shola's administration to make good its promise before it wraps up some Monday, November the 26th, 2018. They, however, promise to continue to speak up until respite comes their way.